Hello everyone and welcome back to 7 Days to Die and today we are finally taking on the final of our skyscraper assaults. Yeah I'm going for the big one this time. <laughs> um, so yeah we'll finally be able to get started on our build from whenever I complete this run. It's going to be awesome. And yeah I got a lot of work to do on that building actually. So yeah we're taking on the Dachon Tower today. I probably mispronounced that. Otherwise, I think I might call it uh, the Tower of Doom or something. It looks suitably dramatic enough. Let's come up here. Alright. That took care of that. Um, yeah, anyway, I shouldn't be wasting time. I just realized I can barely get this entire building into one shot, but that's good enough, and I need to get my pistol back. Since I found some better bullets as well. Anyway, time to start our assault. And yeah, I'll be speed running this, not much looting, just taking out all the zombies. I'm just going to focus on clearing out the disease. Yeah, I'm concentrating on using this early on. start to face them in bigger numbers um, that's when I'll break out the gun right that's it not taken care of um, Yeah, there's some more over here. Yeah, the plan is to clear out this area as quickly as possible. Alright, that's trashed. Right, yeah, I don't think there's any more down here, so we'll move on up. I have to come back and save the looting for later. As you can see, the lower levels of this building are a bit trashed. Why is it that as soon as I start playing this game, I think something in my computer starts updating? Idiot program. You're in a hurry. See, so running at them seems to have a bit better. That's that lot taken care of. Um, 
All right, it's this way. And now I'm getting lag. I gotta find out what causes that because I know it doesn't happen ex until I start playing the game. At the same time, I don't think it's in any way related to the game itself. Might be something reacting to the recording software or something. Whatever it is, it's very stupid. Oh, shit. expecting a bird attack inside the building. Of course I wasn't expecting broken windows. Um, wish I had a shotgun right now. E excellent bird removal tool. That's the way up, isn't it? Um, maybe not. I said I wasn't going to go looting, but free bullets and stuff. Well, that's not the way up by the looks of it, so I'll ignore that. I need for the lift shaft. Alright, so that looks like some kind of weird... Yeah, I get a feeling I'm not going to enjoy this. I how my luck with these sort of things tends to go. Almost had it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Be fine if I didn't fall off the ledges constantly. Um, let's see, I'll just pop one. One on there, I want. There. Yeah, something really trash this place. Okay, that's that one taken care of, and you got lucky. Here. Jesus. I mean, I know they did, but the level of intelligence is uh, non existent. Okay, 
okay wearing armor there, right? Yeah, I don't trust this floor. Okay, still a lot more trash stuff. Yeah, this building got really trashed. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna try and conserve my ammo, but. That lot taken care of. Just got to keep moving. Got to go fast. <laughs> um. We're expecting a few more zombies there. Yeah, this place really got hammered. Um, right, this hole in the wall over here. The cubicle farm again. Just gonna keep hitting them. But yeah, this is one way of saving bullets. Yeah, these torches are helpful. They sort of lead you where you need to go. Um, I might try that in a sec. Oh, screw that. I don't think there's any other way up there. Or at least anything around here. I don't think there is. No, there isn't. Right up this mess. I'm expecting a tacket in. Kind of surprised no zombies dropped down from up there. Alright, that area is all trashed again. No surprises there. You're in a running mood. Now we've woken all of them up, but yeah, there's going to be some serious loot in here when I get around to looting all of this. But I do find looting videos to be a little boring. Oh, oh, oh! 
one way to take out the trash. Alright, so there's nothing really in here that I need right now. I'm just concentrate on clearing out these guys. I mean, you know, as long as they're not moving fast, you don't really have to worry too much about them. Guys like this aren't really a threat. But always best to keep your wits about you, because you never know when things are going to go horribly, horribly wrong. Okay, that was a surprise headshot. Seem to have found the spot to aim for. And they just got angry. You do realise there was a door handle there. <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, let's see, just clear these guys out. Yeah, it looks like they tried to hold this floor when things went horribly wrong. It just didn't go very well. Why am I lagging out like a motherfucker? Like, uh, like a second lag there, so... When this is done, because um, I'm going to have to cut this in two, because this is sort of more than a one episode thing. Um, in fact, I'm actually going to have to cut it shortly. I'm going to minimise the game and find out what's hogging all of my CPU time or hard drive time, and then kill it. I was right. It's a trap. As you can see, the zombies are finding it all for me. How useful of them. Woken all of them up. Oh, he was aggro.
Yeah, that could have gone better. Anyway, I think this is a good spot to break the episode because it's been about 20 minutes. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel for more daily videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time in 7 Days to Die.